Well, I guess this is my life now. I'm an Italian hitman. It's 1945, and I've got one job and one job only. And that job is to repeatedly murder the bad German guy from World War II, whose name I can't say for monetization purposes. Now, I didn't come on this mission empty-handed. Oh, no. I brought a couple of toys with me to help me get the job done. I've got my Delisle Carbine suppressed bolt-action rifle, my fully automatic Mab 38, my suppressed semi-automatic HDM, some TNT, some S mines, some trip mines, some telemines, some stick grenades, and some suppressed rifle ammunition. Now, according to my objective in the top left, I need to find and assassinate a guy called Admiral Richter, which, according to my highly accurate 1945 GPS, is all the way over there. I also have the optional objective of sabotaging these two fail safes, and 50 meters away, there's a supply cache that I can collect. Well, I guess the first order of business is to test out the Delisle carbine, of which I've never actually used before, to see if I can put a bullet in this guy's head. Oh, buddy, you're not looking too good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Now, everyone knows that real men don't look at maps, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just to prove that I know how to read one. And this big question mark right here leads me to believe that maybe I should investigate this location. In order to get there, though, I'm going to need to be extra stealthy, because the bullet that I put in that guy's head put everyone on high alert, and now <laughs> there's dudes standing on roofs. <laughs> <laughs> looking for me. So what I'm going to do is crawl along the floor and pretend that I'm a seagull. And when I get close enough to this ledge, I'm going to stand up, run, jump, and now I'm in. Wait, hold on just a sec. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to perform an exorcism. Be here on the island. Guess my mission just changed. So did your voice and your appearance, buddy. And would you look at that? My objectives changed from kill Richter to kill the bad German guy from World War II whose name I can't say for monetization purposes. So now at this point, it seems like all of my other objectives are inside of that. What the f- You're gonna need more than a couple of Panadol to help you with that headache, buddy. And I mean, I'm no expert or anything, but I'm pretty sure that this guy hasn't noticed that I'm behind him yet. So I'm gonna sneak up real stealth-like and then... <laughs> I'm gonna punch him so hard his bowel explodes. Now, according to my 1945 Tom Top GPS, there should be a pillbox right over here. And I'm thinking that if I can get close enough, I might be able to blow it up. Try and shoot me. Come on, try. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. Shit, God damn it. Ooh, a Panzerfaust. And I didn't even get to use my Mab 38, but somehow I feel like I'm going to have so much more fun with this. And now that I've completely cleared out the bunker exterior, it's time to head inside. Don't turn around. Don't do it. This is going to be so much easier for you and for me if you just keep looking that way. Yeah. Didn't I warn you? Wait, hold on a second. What the hell is you boat? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to drop a submarine on him. Oh, sh what the f are you? F now to make sure that doesn't happen again, I'm going to take down this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. And now finally, according to my GPS, things are looking a lot more quiet around here. Uh, excuse me, but shouldn't you be wearing a welding mask? I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but I kind of told you so. Excuse me, sir, but rumor has it that you used to be an adventurer. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is all your fault, Harry. <laughs> you look like you're having barrels of fun. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Oh, wow. I just gave that guy a Russian man's liver. Hey, pal. Say goodbye to your... <laughs> I love it. Why has he only got one ball, though? Uh, excuse me. Get that hat off your head. <laughs> so numb. <laughs> what are you doing? You are literally the most useless human being on the entire planet. Die. So what I was trying to do was move very stealthily to the bottom of these stairs before he gets here. I'll put a telemine right here. Then I'll just place like C4 all over the place. <laughs> Double bounced him. I've also noticed that there's a stage right here with a whole bunch of chairs and a podium. So I'm guessing that he's probably going to come here to give a speech at some point. Oh yeah, and this ginormous eagle right here is held up by two doodars that I'm pretty sure I could just shoot off and... Just have it land right on top of him. So I'll just preemptively place down a couple of explosives right here. Not too many, though. Just just a few. Oi, Harry. Harry, over here. Come on, Harry. Come on. Get get up on that stage, Harry. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to give a speech. 
<laughs> oh, Harry, mate, you finally did it. All right, so at this point, I've killed the bad German man from World War II, whose name I can't say for monetization purposes more times than you can say nine, 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 nine. And yet, I still can't help but feel like there's probably more ways for me to do it. <laughs> I think Harry might have hearing problems. <laughs> I love how no matter where Harry goes, despite me killing every single person that was in his entourage, he continues yabbering away like someone's actually listening. <laughs> What a loser. Wait, hold on just a second. Is that... <laughs> is that a torpedo rack? And what looks like a pallet suspended in midair? Oh, God. <laughs> Think of the possibilities. All right, Harry, so I feel obligated to warn you that walking underneath that thing is probably going to be very detrimental to your head. What? What's that? Did, did you say YOLO? <laughs> Fly through the middle. Oh, okay. It's not a. It's not an engine. It's a freaking top of a tank thingy. And I mean, that was fun and everything, but why stop there? Yes! <laughs> Better yet, why don't I let Harry head over to the torpedo rack? <laughs> this is so comical watching this idiot talk to the torpedoes. Go get him, boys! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. And this is why you don't order missiles off Wish. Oh, would you look at that? Harry's finally decided to give his speech. Come on, Harry, get up on this podium and give it all you've got. Oh, it looks like he's not giving it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Harry. You should have just given the speech, mate. Now, if I can create a little bit of a distraction, like right here, and then run all the way down this end, uh... That's, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to do, but okay. Then take down this guy and this guy. And also this guy. Then sneak into the kitchen, chuck a grenade in the soup, and patiently wait for dinner time. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. <laughs> that was so good. All right, so it looks like he's coming to inspect the U-boats. Little does he know this is the last inspection he will ever do. <laughs> he will ever do. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I think I know what the problem is. I know why you're so uptight. It's because you haven't busted a nut for so long. <laughs> Why has he only got one ball, though? So now I'm going to climb my way back out of the base, run as fast as I can all the way back to the pillbox, then place a satchel charge right here, shoot it, and... <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean, if that doesn't do it, yeah, nothing will. And now for my final trick, I'll just make a whole bunch of noise, scare the living bejesus out of everyone, shoot that mine right there, and I'll shoot that one right there. And now Harry should be in pretty good standing to, <laughs> to kill himself. Harry, Harry, here's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. <laughs> and that right there is how you kill the most evil and hated man in history over and over and over again. That's all.